Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by a wonderful grant from Aziz Chaudhry. Thank you, sir. Each step of the servos? That's a sound. Yeah. <laughs> so what you got, Matt? Uh, I've got the robot mostly programmed for 3D scanning people's busts. Um, might need a little bit of tweaking when it gets on the back part right around here. Okay. Because the issue with the scanner is it's using a an infrared laser dot projection to create the wire mesh that's the actual 3D model. The color cameras just so you have a color overlay. Okay. And the issue is you have to have it relatively close to people's heads for it to actually get the hair. Okay. However, the issue with that is you're also cutting out large portion that you previously scanned of their bust, which is much better for tracking as the scanner moves about. So it has a tendency to lose tracking but you can't really back it up too far, otherwise the scanner itself won't be able to pick up the geometry of the hair. Why is there tape over the green light? That was, I made a little, or I put a little piece of tape over there, I made a plus symbol, and I was using that to calibrate the center point. Oh, okay. That was the, the probe on a stick? Yep. Okay. This is super cool. When are you going to be back for the next round? Probably early December, I'm hoping. Okay. By then I should have the 3D printer done. We already shot the first video. Awesome. And we march ever onward. And that waits for 10 seconds before returning home. So, during that 10 seconds, you have to either make sure that you stop the robot or inform the person who's being scanned to stay where they are so that they don't get up get smacked in the head yeah <laughs> good job sir then thank I you I also had to uh, use a couple of wooden shims up yeah there. I saw that I was just going to let that I, go I, need... I, was, I was just going to let that go I was going to mention that it was going to be nice yeah. I also wasn't going to tell everybody that you smashed the scanner <laughs> this weekend yeah, you already by did writing code already. in the middle of the night I was just letting that go. Yeah, but that hasn't aired yet. That's going to oh, be part yeah. of this episode. I was going to do all the robot as one. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, Matt, Chief of Robotics for the National Science Institute. You get to put that on your resume now. Yeah, I do. That's, that's a thing. Just something has to be broken. It's a It's a plasma. Uh just in the chair facing the other way. That way? Yep. Why am I supposed to face that way too? Alright. It's more fun this way. You get to see the scan as it happens. Oh well, there is that. Alright, let me know when you're ready. Gates open. You're not gonna hit me with this, right? No. I gotta tell you, this is more than a little fucking terrifying. Do I get a knee stop? No, I'll let you hold the Alright, I want a knee stop. You, you give me a knee stop, I'll sit in the fucking electric chair, but yeah. there's no fucking way I sit there unless I get a knee stop in my hand. Also, hands. another thing that I want to actually kind of make the protocol for when we start doing this, like, with the public, is have them also look at a picture of what the screen should be and verify and initial that the program display is the program that's running. Like compare a highlighted piece of paper to. No, but what we'll do when we get to the public is we're going to have a dedicated setup for this that isn't the big giant and killing robot. Yeah. We're going to make a dedicated robot for this that's going to be way lighter.
lighter, way weedier. It's gonna be like an arm with a stick. And yeah, because this is fucking terrifying. Because like you and I understand what yeah. this is capable of. And <laughs> yeah. I've seen what this does to monitors. Okay. So, all right, I get these up. Yep. You also get start the program. All right. I'm in position and ready when you are. Yep. I'm ready. Go ahead and start, and I'll start the scan. I just press the green button. Yep. These stops off. These stops are up. Okay. Clear. Go. Once more. And starting the scan. It's going to unwind before it goes up to the second level. Too close is what it is. Yeah. I can make that off.
good? Yep. Yeah, so here's the thing. When you Okay, that's projecting a set of dots that it's yeah. tracking. Because it's coming from a single point, it comes out and the dots are like, let's say this far apart, right? Yeah. As they get closer, the dots get closer together. And since you're on here and you're close, it, there, it needs the space between the dots to do the interpolation. Mm -hmm. So that's that's why getting too close, the dots get too close together. And with hair, they're nebulous at best, and it numbs your nerves, you know. <laughs> also, there's some manner of aspherical aberration on the front of my face. No, I just have a really unfortunate nose. Alright. No, it sm smashes everyone's noses in. Yeah? Okay. Like, just cuts the tip of mine off. You should, you should clean that up and 3D print it. Wow. I am that ugly. Just have to accept that fact. You should hand that up to Jerry for 3D printing. It'll be funny. Cut that off. Right about here, like before the above, like right at that level. Just... Also, it made me even more bold than I am. So thanks for that. For just cutting off the entire top of my head. But it just sees right through the stuff that isn't thick enough. Yeah. It's cool. It's getting there. You're closer. One more weekend, it might be done. Yeah. That's what I'm going to look like at 60. Thanks. <laughs> you guys have fun. That's today's captain's blog. Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by a wonderful grant from Aziz Chaudhry. Thank you, sir.